hello guys welcome to my channel it's joel tutorial hope you guys had enjoyed my last video uh, today i'm going to show you how to make a uh, vehicle branding in coral row if you are still not subscribed my channel do it now and hit the bell icon you can watch all the episodes which i'm going to upload as well as it's a huge motivation for me to make more videos for you guys so let's get start first of all uh, we need to get a new page and uh, i'm going to download the, the images of the car which i'm going to uh, do the branding and uh, yeah it's Renault Megan and you know uh, most of the companies uh, they have their vehicles and uh, most of the time they are trying to do the branding on their vehicles because um, it's a huge marketing uh, aspect so um, I'm going to show you how to do that in Coral Row first of all uh, we do the side and uh, then we come to the front and back I keep the these two images in the side for a while and okay this is the side view of the car but you know like uh, when you you can design in the color row but uh, when you go to the print on the material you must have to get the exact measurements of the vehicle that you are going to uh, branding let's say like your client need to get the design of his vehicle but he has not uh, given you the measurement yet uh, but still he have to see the design before he comes to give you the measurement so what you have to do is like you can ask the uh, the brand of the vehicle and you can download the images like this and uh, get the pictures uh, side front and back and then do you can do the branding and uh, uh, send them an email and get the confirmation of the design once you finalize the design you can ask him to come uh, uh, to get the measurement of the vehicle and then you can finalize the artwork and give it to them so uh, let's get start uh, I'm gonna do the uh, this side first I'm going to use uh, my logo uh, for this uh, branding to show you so I'm gonna open my logo in Coral Row. Okay, this is my logo. I keep it in the side and uh, I'm drawing a rectangle till here. In uh, my theme color is red, green, and black, so I'm stick to those colors. And uh, I have to do the drawing of the side I make three separate rectangles like that okay and control Q or you can go to the object and uh, convert to curves or you can use the key control Q to make the uh, rectangle as a lining object and in here almost finished the uh, drawing I need to uh, place the logo I prefer to I prefer it has to be in the uh, front door and this is my back side as I told you uh, my theme color is red green and black 
so i stick to those colors and i put red in to the back panel and this has to trim to get the the lights out and uh, i'm going to make a shading thing ready is uh, this red is little uh, too uh, strong i'm going to reduce the color and uh, the color like that little bit more more reddish okay and then remove the outline and i need to take off the the wheel draw a circle like that bigger trim and take the wheel out take the same logo to the front trim to be in white and the front panel I'm going to use black and bit of shading turn to the left side something like that still uh, I can see the line what I do is Drag the lines up to here. And to the transparency this side as well. Just like that. Okay, I think it's almost done. The side and my logo is there. Shift page up or object order to front of the page okay so here is my logo this is the side i need to get a little abstract in here so i'm gonna go with the free hand and start in here draw a little light abstract always connect to the the first note and i'm gonna put a gray in there remove the outline and uh, I make a group in these three uh, shapes and now this is a one group and click this one click this one click this one intersect and then you have the middle part remove the the sides okay it's like that mm, I think a little bit of transparency this part okay all right now okay this is the design and okay here is child tutorial uh, i'm gonna put my email in i'm gonna put the email uh, on gray abstract that i have drawn uh child tutorial 89 at gmail.com so I'm gonna put somewhere here a little bit of gray something like that that is good okay put the email address there and uh, here uh, I'm gonna put my slogan in here but uh, obviously uh, according to the client uh, you can put uh, the details contact details or whatever the products whatever the service that they are doing you can uh, put uh, in here change the world with your best creative inspiration okay 
this is my slogan i'm going to put my uh, font for james fajardo is my font of my slogan i'll put it here okay and uh, come to the I'm gonna place uh, somewhere here try to put the green which I have used to uh, and uh, i can put my uh, facebook page here so tutorial and draw a box to get the symbol of the facebook and copy f black and it is white so this is my facebook page i think uh, the side is almost done and i prefer to make the logo a little bigger something like that and the side is finished okay so the other side i take another copy drag it and right click copy and then flip it and then the text ungroup all and the text flip it logo flip it flip it flip it both sides are done now i'm moving to the the front and as usual we draw the front Here also I'm going to put the uh, the same color theme. Yeah. Middle. I put white. that and uh, place the logo in the middle a little bit of smaller in the logo like that just to be centered and uh, I just stick to the logo I think it will be enough take the back side
I think I have almost done the back side and uh, yes I put the color and Yeah. Okay, I think it's enough for the back side. And uh, so this is the back of the the car. I, I think I have done all the sides. This is front, this is back, and these are two sides. And this is the um version that you have to send to your client to see the design of the branding of their vehicle so this is the uh, branding if your client is happy about the branding of, about the designing uh, now the time that you have to ask him to come to your place or you have to visit him to uh, get the measurement of the vehicle get the exact measurement of the vehicle uh, to uh, prepare the printing version let's say i have get the printing uh, have get the exact measurements of the vehicle now let's see how to make it as a printing version what you have to do is let's get the first side and keep it in the side okay keep the rest in the side and look at the side what you have to do is Let's say I have taken the exact uh, measurements of the vehicle. So, this is this and uh, this is this. Let's separate the door. Okay, the first one. And I stick to uh, two rectangles. make the page little bigger and I put the I put the same color which I put there and then click OK to move the outline okay and here prefer to make another rectangle there and put black and make the transparency there until the line is going now take the child tutorial here place it there but make sure if when you get the measurements this is the car and this is the side when you get the measurement you must have to get the measurements from here to here here to here here to here to leave this area without having a uh, image or whatever you put there like as example if you if you do the design if you do the design in exact measurements if you have not get the uh, measurements of this area if, uh, if you put the logo here it's gonna cut because so when you stick the sticker uh, onto the vehicle uh, the guy who is placing sticker or the guy who is sticking the stickers they are cutting the edges around the areas which they have to open like this one 
and this one and uh, these lines because when you paste the sticker so this area has to be open you know you know what i mean hope you guys understand what i mean and uh, so make sure when you get the measurements of the vehicle you have to get the exact uh, measurements in these areas from here to here like that okay okay come to the vehicle okay come to the branding and this has to come in here this design has to come in here Also make sure to get the measurements of the the wheels to open the areas without putting any object or any design in there so this is the side of the vehicle so what I told you before is if you put this one let's see so this is the design if you put like that if you have not get the exact measurements The other thing is um, when you get the measurements when you do the designs I told you before it's enough uh, to draw the one side you don't have to draw the other side but when you get the measurements you must have to get the exact measurements of the other side as well because sometimes it's changing as an example in the petrol lid you don't see the other side something like that uh, it depends with the vehicle so that's why I uh, ask you to get the measurements of the both sides when you do that okay now I'm going to the front and try to get the measurements from here to here So front when you get the measurements you have to get the measurements from here to here I mean the longest edge to other longest edge and uh, from here to here not from here to here here to here but obviously you have to get the uh, the measurements from here to here as well because unless if you put the logo in here when the when the sticker pasting the, this part will be going out and the back and now we come to the back okay, this is the back and this is also same first you have to get the first you have to get the measurements from here to here and in back side you know the text is only coming in here I mean according to your design but you have to get the measurements on these areas from here to here and uh, here to here and uh, when you uh, 
print the sticker you must have to get the measurements uh, in uh, here to here here to here and here to here because when they cut if the text is going as i told you before it will gonna take off so These are the files that you have to send as the printing version. Uh, if you have taken the measurements properly, I mean the spaces where you have to open uh, when the sticker is sticking to the vehicle, it doesn't happen anything for the text or logo, whatever the object that you have put into the sticker. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, as I told you when the video beginning, if you still not subscribe my channel, uh, do it now and hit the bell icon and it's a huge motivation for me to make more videos for you guys uh, if you have any issue of the uh, designing or the video don't forget to comment under the video i'm here to respond to you guys and uh, i'm gonna see you on next week thank you very much for staying with me